So a few years ago, with some of the most wonderful people in the world, I founded a not-for-profit that teaches journalism to people living in places like Iraq, DR Congo, and Somalia. So basically, we teach new media, and this allows the people we're working with to tell the world their story, and then they can create jobs for themselves that allows them to support their family. In the course of doing this, I was kind of astounded that it worked, because uh, it was initially just this vision of, let's go, let's go teach and see what happens. And then I was amazed that it worked, because the organization spread from Rwanda to Congo to Iraq and to Somalia quite naturally. We were just invited by these communities. So a fundamental question to my daily life is, why did this work? Some of the things to understand are that the internet can be like water, if you want to think of it metaphorically, and that it can create wealth wherever it reaches. There are journalists everywhere, in every part of the world, every culture, every kind of technological, technologically advanced place. There are people who are the teller of stories and who hold the powerful to account. It's just that it's far too often they're denied this opportunity and the ability to do it professionally, just as there are so many unrealized doctors, poets, boxers, engineers, physicists, moguls, accountants, engineers, and inventors of new ice cream flavors. So I spend, I spend most mornings kind of online mentoring people around the world in all these different places and trying to help them become the great journalists that they're destined to be. And I'm searching for an explanation of why this works, and that explanation brings me to Kurt Vonnegut, as most things in life actually do. Uh, so Kurt Vonnegut wrote a book called Cat's Cradle, which I think everyone should read. Cat's Cradle is about this hilariously man-made end of the world through this chemical compound called Ice-9. But also in Cat's Cradle, Kurt Vonnegut invented a religion called Bokanism. And one of the tenets of Bokanism is that we're all part of a cross. And a cross is basically a community of people all around the world who are all serving the same purpose and doing the same thing, whether or not they know about each other. And when people in the cross actually meet, they ignite and they inspire each other. So in the book, they actually do this by touching the soles of their feet together, but um, for journalism, we're a little more practical um, because there are all these people who are unrealized doctors and journalists and physicists and inventors of other wonderful flavors of ice cream that have yet to be invented. So in the course of doing this work and like all the massive changes, the Arab Spring, you know, the way Twitter allows people in Iran to become reporters, um, I, it, how, do you, how do you conceptualize this world? And for me, I think it's very important to understand that there are no cultural revolutions without technological ones. So for example, we couldn't have had the communist revolution without the industrial one. So we now have all these tools because we have this technological creative force that allows us to empower each other and everyone can empower everybody for the first time in history. So I'm also a boxer, <laughs> it's me, and one of the things that, like journalism, boxers are everywhere, right? Every culture has boxers and people who are fighters and in this community. And it's also part of the cultural mythology. So we all know of the great fights, or we've heard of them at least. And one of the great boxing trainers is a man named Customato. Um, he trained a lot of legendary fighters you've heard of. And on his tombstone, Cus chose to have inscribed, a boy comes to me with a spark of interest. I feed that spark and it becomes a flame. I feed the flame and it becomes a fire. <coughs> I feed the fire and it becomes a roaring blaze. Cus was able to inspire the spark of legends and people born into impossible situations. And so like Cus, uh, I would like you to know your cross, take your creative spark and go forth in the world and give it to your community until they're ignited and are lighting the world in a roaring blaze. Thank you. <laughs>